Hello, everyone. Welcome to MT4 Professional. Today, we're going to be talking about trading strategies using the MT4 Professional Scanner, our live market scanner demonstration and Q&A. Joining me today is, um, let me see here. There we go. It's Claudio. Let me see here. I could do that. Okay. There you go. All right. Sorry about that. Um, just trying to get everything lined up here. Um, today is a holiday, so hope you're enjoying your your holiday day. Today is Memorial Day in the United States, so we are remembering those who have uh, <clears throat> given their lives uh, in defense of our country and our freedoms. So our hats off to you, fine gentlemen and ladies who um, defended our country. Today we're going to be talking about trading strategies using the MT4 professional strategy and scanner. Well, let everyone know that we are here for educational purposes only, that MT4 professional and resilient traders are not investment advisors. So we cannot give you specific trade advice, uh, but what we can do is teach and train you on the use of the Hawkeye, of the uh, MT4 professional platform on the live edge of the market. Trading with futures, stocks, Forex options and cryptocurrency has a large potential for reward, but also has a large potential for risk. You need to be aware of the risks involved and be willing to accept them in order to trade or invest in any of these markets. Past performance is not indicative of future results, so make sure you get advice from a competent financial advisor before you start trading or investing in any of these markets. I'm Randy Lindsay, your trade coach. Joining me today is Claudio Cardinal. He is our product development director. And we're here today to talk to you about trading strategies. We're going to tell you a little bit about what a market scanner is, what MT4 Professional is all about. We're going to give you a live demonstration of our platform and make you a very special offer and answer any questions along the way. So there are many popular strategies that are out there today. Um, some of the most popular ones are like uh, EMA and price. If you're a pure price action, uh, trader, and you like just to see price uh, with a simple moving average or exponential, uh, this is a great strategy for looking at the uh, setups and trades, entries, and even exits on the market. Uh, MACD and Signal is a very popular strategy using the uh, core components of the oscillating MACD uh, to look at um, moving average convergence, divergence, signal indication. The moving average crossover um, is really good for determining trend and trend direction, uh, especially using longer time frames. Well, and then we can look at the strategies that involve a combination of any of the above. Price set, pure price action with moving average, MACD, even throw in a relative strength uh, to determine optimal sell and buy points. So there's always the ever popular alligator indicator if we get time to get to that one. And uh, I wanna make sure that you know, and we can get um, covered with the MT4 professional scanner. Um, it's not limited to any of these uh, strategies. Um, as a matter of fact, there's a ton more strategies that you can use uh, using the scanner. So what the scanner is, um, is that a, a scanner is a a tool that allows you to search for instruments um, that you're interested in. So if you look at the MT4 platform alone, there are 50 Forex pairs, 20 CFDs, nine different time frames. That's more than 630 different combinations you have to go through and check. And do you really think that you're able to do that manually? I dare say you can't, and you're probably missing a lot of opportunities. A scanner can go through and do this. It makes trading with different instruments so much easier because in today's trading environment, trading with multiple instruments is a must if you're going to make trading profitable because not every instrument is going to be moving all the time. So you need to have a, a basket full of instruments that you need to, uh, that you can rifle through or look at all throughout the day. Um, what a 
basket of uncorrelated instruments does is it removes uncertainty and diversifies your portfolio as well. So a perfect solution for doing this for you so that you don't miss these trade opportunities is a market scanner. As I said, a market scanner is a, a tool that automatically looks for a trade setup using your own rules and your own custom indicators for a situation that meets your criteria. It's not a signal provider, uh, but it's a tool that allows you to analyze the strategies you want to analyze using the indicators you want to use. So one example is the cross of two moving averages. All right, so for a bullish cross, I want to consider a color I sell green if the MA15 crosses over the MA30. So for every symbol I'm looking at, and these are just examples of Forex pairs. I'll show you some other ones here in just a minute. And for whatever time frame I choose, I would like a scanner that would show me if it were bullish or bearish whenever this occurred. So that's the idea behind that. So for like the Euro or US dollar, a one and five minute time frame, I can see a bullish uh, trend. Uh, the Euro pound, I can see a bullish trend. I can see a lot of bearish trends on the pound pairs. And I can see a lot of bearish trends on the dollar pairs as well. So it's it's good to see that and to be able to analyze that on multiple time frames. And the scanner, if it could do that, would be a very valuable tool because it would show me this type of analysis really quickly. Here's another example. You know, the scanner does the work for you in the background, so you can focus on, on more important things, you know, like trade management or getting your mindset where it belongs. You don't have to worry about searching and scanning all the, for the trades because the scanner should be able to do that for you. Regardless of the instrument that you're using, you want to see if there are bullish or bearish trends that will give you opportunities to trade with. If a scanner is doing its job, then it should be able to identify these trends and alert you to the when the conditions are favorable for a trade entry or exit. So here's an, another example using EMA and price. I want to see if price action is greater than an exponential moving average or less than. If it's greater than, I want to see a bullish marker, which is a green cell. And if it's less than, I want to see a red marker or a bearish cell. So for three different time frames, you can see for whatever instrument I'm trading, I can very quickly see which, which instruments are currently trending, which ones are potentially reversing, and then which ones are cycling. And it's real easy to see that with a chart that looks like this. So if I had a scanner that could do that for me, that would be a valuable tool. So why am I looking at more than one time frame? Uh, well, did you know that if you trade multiple time frames, you have a higher probability of a profitable trade? It's due to correlation. It's just one of the advantages of using multiple time frame analysis. So look at the three time frames I have depicted in the chart to the right. You can see the longer time frame has long trends and short corrections and longer trends and so forth. Well, the faster time frames look really noisy by comparison. They have shorter trends and many more periods of correction. And you can see on the 15 minute, though there, it just looks zig zigzaggy even throughout that period. So you can still trade these time frames, but if you're trading in the direction of the overall longer term trend, you're going to have a higher probability for success with lower risk in the trade because you're going to be following the longer term trend. Right? Don't take a trade that goes against the direction of the longer term trend. It keeps you out of losing trades. So the idea is longer trend analysis or multiple time frame analysis helps you to pick just the right trades. So if we had a scanner that not only could scan the markets for our own setups based on our own rules, using our own indicators and verify the results using multiple time frame analysis, it would be an extremely valuable tool. Here's another example um, using multiple time frame analysis. This is incorporating a MACD on a four hour, a daily, and a weekly. In addition to price action and an exponential moving average, and even a relative strength indicator. 
Notice the bullish signal that we got on the MACD and on the relative strength coming in at this point here. You can see from here though, that the um, um, price action was not giving a bullish signal. And then as soon as the price action did give a bullish signal, the relative strength didn't. And so this is a nice indication showing me that the system is being set up to help me to make sure I am taking a trade that is a good trade. Secondly, if you, if you do see a, a bar that does trigger an, a, a signal in this, in this period, you can see on the second time frame that that same period, okay, was still bearish and that the RSI and the MACD on the longer time frame has not set up yet. So this then becomes a premature trade setup and you wouldn't take the trade. So it keeps you out of some potentially hazardous trading environments and make sure that it gets you into the ones that are trending. So when the trend does start to turn around, here you can see where I have the blue lines. Okay, these are uh, one of the tools that you should be able to see and use on multiple time frame analysis, an alignment of price and time. You can see that there is a bullish close above EMA. You can see there is a bullish cross of a MACD, and you can see there's a bullish trend in the relative strength coming from an area of extreme weakness, showing a positive trend of strength. So that is a bullish signal. Can that be verified? Yes, you can see I have a bullish trend of relative strength and I have a MACD crossover. So that gives me two bullish correlation signals in addition to that. Third time frame, I can see that I have a relative strength signal that confirms that. So first time frame, I'm looking at all three. The second time frame, I'm only looking at two. The third time frame, I'm only looking at one, giving me a high probability confirmed entry post for a trade. The result of this trade ends up being about 300 pips on the Euro US dollar. So that's a nice trade. It's a nice bank. Uh, looking and following simple rules. And what the scanner does is it alerts you to the fact when the longer term time frames have become bullish or bearish and the overall trend is in the direction that you want to go. That's the idea behind the scanner. It alerts you to when this setup occurs. And I'll show you an example later on of what that does. So what, what multiple time frame does is gives you the ability to trade in harmony with the longer term markets. You get lower risk trade opportunities and higher probability trades. And that's a powerful combination for any trader showing you the importance of using multiple time frame technical analysis. So a market scanner that can use multiple time frame analysis in addition to alerting you when your conditions are met is an extremely valuable tool because it does all of this for you automatically. The problem we ran into though, was that on MT4 or MT5, there wasn't a uh, scanner available that met our criteria. Um, the ones we did find were either too complex to configure, which meant, yeah, you had to be a programmer to, to run it. Uh, they were unstable or maybe even a single tool that did not integrate with the entire system. A lot of indicators were incompatible with them or there were other issues that we ran into. So that was the problem. So our solution was to create our own. Um, as professional traders, we needed to have a system that we could trust in and rely upon. So we decided to make MT4 professional and instantly it became the number one market scanner on MT4 and MT5. So when you find a good trade setup, MT4 Professional allows you to enhance your trading following your own rules and your own setups with multiple time frame technical analysis. All the things and all the benefits that we were just talking about are all wrapped up in a single package. So that's awesome. So stay tuned. I'm going to go through a, a, a demonstration. We're going to learn just a little bit more about the system and about the, um, the time frames that are there. So let me get uh, MT4 launched here. Let me go down and launch a profile that shows you standard MT4. 
And what we're looking at here, um, uh oh, there we go. So what we're looking at here are three just separate time frame charts: uh, 15, 30, and hourly chart. Notice when I change the size of the window, the windows don't change. Uh, you got a lot of wasted space, so I have to physically drag the windows to be the same size. Um, I could go ahead and tile these so that they all fit. And that works if all your windows are the same size. But what if you're using windows that are not the same size? Um, that does not work. And, and you know, I hate having to go through and do that every single time I resize my window for whatever reason. Say I wanted to go into a full screen mode and then back again. I, I want to be able to use the full real estate and you can't really do that. Also, standard MT4, you have to um, drag and drop a symbol that you're interested in onto the chart so that you can see it. But each one, has to, you have to drag and drop it individually. You can't do it on one and it fit for the all. I would love to be able to just click on one symbol and then automatically populate my charts. Um, and the third thing, you can see that um, if I need to look at a a location say right here where the trade exit occurred, then I want to be able to see um, it, where that and how that aligns on a multiple time frame. So looking at that, I have to look at the crosshair. I have to scroll down with my eye and see the time and date and find out if the price is correlated at that point. Then I have to go over to the other chart and do the same thing. Look at the same time and price and see if that correlates. And I have to do the same thing over here as well. So. It's not real easy to do. Looking at multiple time frame analysis, it's great to see it and visually see it, but to actually give me some numerical answers is difficult. So let me go ahead and launch MT4 Professional and show you the differences here. First thing I want you to notice is that all three of the windows are set up. One's a different size than the others. And you also, first thing you probably notice is the blue uh, correlation screen. The crosshairs um, align with all of the other crosshair charts so that I not only have time, but I have price alignment on the axis. So any point I want, I can click on a symbol and all of the charts change over to those specific symbols and I'm ready to go. So when you can see, a bullish cross right there. And then on the second time frame, it's just not ready. You see the second bullish cross right here. Second time frame is just not ready. Third time frame right there gives you a nice bullish cross that confirms the cross right there. No, oh, right there. That's it right there. So anywhere in here would be the trigger bar for your entry on the chart. And notice the price is the first location where price is actually closing above the previous pivot high. So this is actually a great location to look at. A potential trade uh, with a uh, potential profit target, uh, 28 to 29 pip profit on that trade. Now this is just looking at one, five and 15 minute timeframes. Obviously, if you're looking for longer term trends and you're looking to trade longer time frames as well. But the idea behind that is this it shows you these setups. So for right now, I'm looking for setups that give me these types of potential entries. I can see a bullish setup on the one minute, bullish setup on the um, five minute, and a bullish setup on the 15 minute. When this initially triggered, then that gives me the opportunity to take that as a trade and I would be alerted to that fact. So let's look at the configuration examples to see how that's done. Over here on the right hand side, this is the configuration of the charts as you're looking for the um, layout. I'll click on this and you can see that the I have three windows that look exactly like the three windows on my charts. On each one, I can set the time, 
and the template that's going to be used to demonstrate that. So I can change this template to be any template that I have on my platform. If it's if you have a template that you've already set up, then you can use it here to make it look like what you want it. And you can set it to be any time frame that you have available on either MT4 or MT5. Um, if you need to add an additional chart window, you can tile them, you can change them, make sure you add a template. Um, and if it needs to be relocated, then this is a, I'll make this one my one minute, this one my five. See, so it's really easy to get it set up just the way that you like it, move it around. Um, you can even uh, reverse things and you have many examples of setting it up and making it look just the way that you like. I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't wanna change what my current one looks like. Over on the left, you can see the ability to change the symbols. From here, you can create a symbol list from any available symbol that you have on your platform. Any um, CFD, stock, um, uh, futures, uh, or um, um, Forex pair that you have access to can be loaded or added to your symbol list. And it's this symbol list that the scanner uses to scan through and look for trade setups. In addition, uh, the scanner is on the right. And this is the rules that are set to change the color of the scanner cells. We call them color rules. And for any time frame that you select, we have a color rule that goes through and follows a set pattern of conditions to determine what color to set the cell. So for the condition to set the cell to green, which I prefer as a bullish configuration, you might like blue or something else, but I like green. So if the close of current price is greater than the 15 period EMA, exponential moving average, I want the cell to be colored green. That's my condition using the comparing operator. If that is not true, the or operator takes place. So it's this condition or this condition. So this one's not true, then this one is gonna be evaluated. If the close is less than the EMA, then it will be set to red. Now notice this is greater than or equal to or less than. So it's either gonna be red or green. It's not gonna be yellow, but yellow is the default color if at any point, either of these, these two conditions aren't met. And this is a really simple example, I know, uh, but I'll show you if, uh, some more, a little bit more complicated ones in a little bit. So and I wanted to show you how that was done and set up. Now um, I'll go back to it and show you that these indicators uh, can be added. Now you can choose any indicator that you have access to on MT4, any of the trend indicators, okay? Any of the oscillators, you can just sit there and select the one that you're interested in, um, set the parameters, uh, what it's applied to, make sure everything is set the way that you like it. And the mode is the output that you're looking at. Um, in this case, the MACD has two different outputs. Um, we call those modes. The first one is the base indicator, that's the histogram. And the second output is the signal line. Usually we look for a cross between the base indicator and the signal line to give us a signal bullish or bearish. Or you can even look at the base indicator to see if it's positive or negative. For now, um, you can choose any of those. Um, you can also look at, um, oh, I don't want the MACD. I want that one there. So um, I'll, I'll pull up an example here that gives you the opportunity to look at a little bit more complex of variables. But when you're considering or looking at um, longer signals, then 
it's easy to find out if the um, output is uh, going to be used by MT4 Professional. You do that uh, by using the data window. Um, the data window can be found under the view menu, data window, or by clicking on the icon with the little crosshair and circle. The data window shows you the output of whatever indicator that you have loaded on the chart. So you can see that the MACD has two outputs. The MACD, which is the white histogram that you see right here, and then the signal, which is the red line that you see on top of the histogram. Now you can see it's very easy for me to see the value of that. So when I move my cursor on the screen, you can see when that value goes positive or negative. And I can compare the value of the signal with the value of the histogram. So I can make these as operations and compare them directly to find those out. You can see at the same time, I have a relative strength indicator here that I have a direct value for. And I can take this value and compare that value to any historic or previous value to determine the slope of that line or to see if I'm less than the uh, oversold condition or greater than the overbought condition to determine those specifics. So if I'm looking for those as criteria for my trade, then you can see how easy it is just to be able to pull that information directly from the indicator. And that's what MT4 Professional does. So if we were to look at this configuration to determine what, what is it that makes these cells the color that they are, then let's look at the rules. Oh, I hit the load button. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to hit the edit button. Let's edit the scanner and see what the rule sets are that would generate a strong signal, something that would notify us. Now I have a strong signal and a trend signal, two separate color rules, but I'll have one of them that's applied to the four hour, the strong signal. You can see I have a daily strong signal, but I have a weekly only trend. Here I have the weekly trend color rule applied, but I'm not using the strong signal rule. So let's look at the strong signal first and see what it involves. There are three different comparisons that are being made. First, I'm looking at the MACD. I'm looking for the first MACD signal, which is the base indicator line. I need to see if it's less than the MACD signal line. Okay, that's the second. So I load two instances of the same indicator, but on one, I'm looking for a, an output uh, of one and uh, from the base indicator and the other, I'm looking for the output uh, from the signal line. So when the main uh, histogram is less than the signal line, that's bearish. I want to see red, but I want other conditions to confirm. So, and the price, of close of price has to be less than a 15 period exponential moving average. And I need to see a positive slope on my relative strength. So I'm looking at the current relative strength two bars ago with the current closing price strength. If that's greater than that, which means two bars ago, if I were to look back in time, two bars, compare that with the current one, if that previous one is greater than the current one, I know I have a downward slope and that is bearish. So I look for that as my condition. I could also look to see if the relative strength, current closing price of the relative strength is less than 30 or not. And that would give me a very bearish set setup as well. If any of those are true, I mean, if, if all, of the, all of these have to be true in order to get a red condition, if any one of these is not true, then the or condition will come in because this would be thrown away and I would be looking at this setup. So I'd be looking to see if the MACD histogram was greater than the signal line, if the price closed greater than the moving average, and if the previous close of the relative strength was less than the current relative strength, giving me a positive trending direction. If that were true, then it would be colored green. 
If neither of these conditions are true, then it would just simply be yellow, saying that it's maybe in congestion or that maybe the close of price has not closed on either one or the other. So I'm looking at some discontinuity between the two. And yellow is a perfectly good color because it just tells you the trade is just not ready. That was the strong signal. I could, whatever time frame I open up and use, I can apply that strong signal indicator too. Down here, you can see I didn't apply the strong signal tr color rule. I only applied the weekly trend color rule. So let's see what the weekly trend. What it does is it's looking at the current close of price relative to the 15 period exponential moving average. So I'm only looking at this trend. So if the trend is bullish, then I'll be long. If the trend is bearish, then I'll be short. And that's what you're looking at. So you're only looking for this as a directional indication because you want to trade in harmony with the longer time frame trend. And this sits there and tells you which direction that you should be trading in. If at any time you want to be alerted, then the real-time notifications tab is right here. All you have to do is check it and it will en enable the MT4 or MT5 notifications uh, to notify you of any of these specific setups. Um, and if you enter your mobile phone number, then you can also be notified through SMS notification as well. Go to full screen mode. Oh, look at that. The window completely redraws to fill the entire screen. If I want to drill in and look at any specific chart, then just double clicking on the chart itself gives me the ability to, to drill in and uh, focus specifically on that. So I have full freedom and access to my charts to look at everything. And also notice if I have another template that I wanted to check out and, and look at, then I could load that template on the chart notice the change if you were to do this in standard mt4 um, then um, you would lose um, all of your the work that you had done on that because this this now has got to be reset to the old template but notice what happens when i click on one of the symbols it automatically brings back the template that i had pre-configured for that chart it is so sweet i can sit there and do all the changes and analysis that I want. And then with one click, I can go right back to where I started from and not lose a beat. <clears throat> In the process, I can be saving all these other templates and getting everything to set up. It's a great system. Um, a lot of really nice conveniences to be had there. Um, you can use custom indicators as well. So if you have a bunch of custom configurations that you've used, uh, you can use custom indicators in these setups as well. You do that using, again, like I showed you, the um, data window to see the trend or the output of those indicators. And if the output of the indicator um, is displayed on the data window, then you can use it and interface with MT4 Professional. Please, if there are any questions, uh, then ask them uh, in the chat panel. There's a little questions pane there. Ask, ask away, uh, chat away if you like, and I'll be glad to answer any of your specific questions on that, on these setups or the configurations that's what, that we're looking for. Um, other configurations, we're looking for um, just straight. Uh, I think we were looking at the alligator. Yeah, you want to see the alligator. The alligator um, uses three different moving averages to determine whether it is a bullish or bearish trend. When you do take these three moving averages in addition to the time frame, the longer time frame trend, um, then uh, you've got a setup that gives you some uh, very remarkable results. And um, over time, the alligator has shown to be a pretty remarkable tool. Longer terms, you can see from the hourly chart that there was a bunch of noise giving you no trade decisions. But when the um, uh, crossover occurred that the lips greater than the jaw and the lips greater than the teeth on the alligator, then they gave you a signal 
that could be verified on all three time frames. So you're looking for that type of alignment to determine where to get in and when the trade alignment occurs. So on the first time frame, along these same lines, you can see that in the same area um, right there, that the, uh, the signals did set up, but it traded back down into the envelope. So that became a, a questionable or noisy signal um, for that. So when you're looking at those types of trade setups, you trade using the longer time frame as a validation of the shorter time frame trend that you're currently trading. So if you're trading the 15 minute, then you you take the entry on the 15 minute chart, but you take the exit on your longer time frame chart, be it the 30 minute or the hourly. And the exits are made either by a close below the jawline or by a cross of the uh, lips below the, the jawline or the teeth or the teeth, either one. So that's a strategy that you can be using. So when you're looking at the configuration for this, then you see that a strong signal can be generated whenever the current alligator, which is the lips, is greater than the indicator teeth line and when the lips are greater than the jaw. Okay. So if you have a, a, a lip, which is the green line, greater than either the red or the blue, that is a bullish consideration and you want to have a strong buy signal. Strong sell is just the opposite when your lips cross below both your jawline and your teeth. Now these were set up and configured, and I'll show you real quickly how it can be done. If you go over to the um, indicator setup, select an indicator. Let's see. Uh, I forget which one it is. There it is, indicator. You set all of the settings for the alligator, all right? But then the mode tells you which one that you're looking at. You're looking either at the lips, the teeth, or the jaw. So you add one or the other. So if the um, jaw line, and I'll set that up as the jaw line. And actually, I think I have that jaw line already. I do. Yeah, see, it's already on there. So all I had to do is just pull it up from the list. Uh, and the teeth. So if I had the jawline equal to the teeth at any point, maybe that was a condition that I would uh, find favorable for my trade. I can I can do that. I can set that up. If I was showing you how it was set up originally, I'll go ahead and get rid of that. It doesn't need to be set up here. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. All right. So um, the idea was that you can use any indicator on your platform uh, to do this. So um, if you don't have a standard indicator that you use, then if you click the pick from your computer button, then you can pick any indicator, whether it's custom or whether you wrote it yourself, it doesn't matter. Um, any indicator that you have access to on your platform can be loaded into here and used directly in the comparisons uh, for a trigger signal. There's no limitation whatsoever. Give it a name, define the colors that you want, and uh, define any number of conditions that need to be met, and you're off to the road. Let me load one other example here um, of a custom configuration. This one. Um, this is a tool set. Um, there's that one. I think we were looking at the euro yen. That was it. No, I'm looking for that. What was it? That was it. Maybe that was the one. Yeah, yeah, that was the one. Um, we're looking at a setup where um, 
this is a trend indicator uh, called Hawkeye, Hawkeye Tools. It's a, a high-end uh, instrument indicator um, that if you have purchased this uh, from th third-party vendor, you would be able to identify alignment of trend, volume, and heat map, uh, which is the momentum across multiple time frames. Um, and then it allows you to trade in harmony with the longer time frame market as well. So um, a scanner that uses this type of indication can look for all three of those features or indicators off a single time frame. In this case, I'm only looking for two on a second time frame and only looking for one on the third time frame. So looking at this as a configuration, then I'll show you how easy it is to set up. The five minute, which is the first column on my scanner, is using trend, volume, and heat map, which is momentum, indications for determining whether the cell should be colored bullish or bearish for this. You can see the dollar Canadian here has all three of them bullish. The euro has a white, red, and green showing a white trend, red volume, and a green heat map. So that's saying that there's weakness coming in and the trend is showing signs of weakness because the the current time frame is weakening on the trend and volume is always a leading indication of the direction of that trend. <clears throat> 15 minute only looks at the volume and the trend of on the heat map. I don't care about the trend on the 15 minute and the 30 minute only looks at the volume. The other two is are um, not necessary. So in this setup and scenario, um, I'm only looking to see if the trend direction and volume and heat map are all green. That's what I want to see. I want to see a setup that goes all green for all time frames in that setup. I call that my, my three-step entry exit method for entering trades, and it's an extremely um, powerful tool. If the alignment doesn't occur, then it keeps me safe and out of trades that I don't really belong in. To look at the configuration, then I'm going to open up the data window. And you see that the indicators are displayed on the data window. And as I move my mouse over the indicators, you can see that, for example, the trend indicator here is white, and here it goes green. Now, if I were to go over here to the output, you can see that the current first output of the trend indicator here is trend long. It has a value. The other two do not. Trend short, and here's trend neutral. It's zero. When I move my mouse over the trend neutral line, notice the trend neutral gave a value, but the short and long are blank. So all I'm looking for is when this triggers greater than zero on my configuration. All right, wrong button. I'm looking at the trend indicator and the comparison that I'm using is the current Hawkeye stop one. That's output one, which is the, the long signal. I need to see if the current long signal is greater than zero. That's all I'm looking for. If it is, it's gonna be colored green. Otherwise, I'm gonna be looking for that same indicator, but I'm looking for the output number two, which is the short signal. Is it giving me a short signal? If it is, it's gonna be greater than zero. If this is true, then I'll set the color cell of the cell to red. If it's a neutral color, which is output three, then I'll set it to white. It's telling me that it's in correct consolidation or congestion, and I don't need to be trading it. Very simple setups. I do that for volume. I do that for the momentum across any time frame. And it gives me very accurate results that can be triggered and executed um, in trades um, in real time.
Are there any questions so far? Well, I'll be glad to go over now and get back to my presentation. And I wanna make you a very, a very good offer for being part of the class today. MT4 Professional for Limited Time is full featured and available on both MT4 and MT5. We value the software platform at about $700 uh, with access to our Skype community, uh, unlimited configurations and storage, emails, push notifications, and over 100 um, per month SMS notifications are fully included in uh, the value. Not to include, not, I mean, not to mention the pre-configured precepts. There are 14 different strategies that we include in addition to um, the ones that I showed you today. So you're not going to be paying the total value of that. Those are just the value we assign to the, the software. For a limited time, we've reduced that to $194 a month. But because uh, it's Memorial Day and because of our special, I want to make that available to you 50% off or $97 a month. You get a 14-day free trial to get started using the software right away, 14 days to evaluate it, to use the, all the presets or to even make some of your own configurations to see how you can use that. To get started, click the link below or in the chat box that Claudio is giving for you, mt4professional.com slash trial to get started on your subscription and trial right away. Again, that's 14 days free trial. You can start today uh, in two weeks from today at the next webinar. You'll, you can still be using it. Uh, but after the 14 days expire, then you will be automatically charged $97 per month. But you can cancel at any time during this, the trial and still be able to use the full 14-day trial. So don't hesitate to take advantage of that and to use it. It really is a, a, a free trial. Uh, you don't have any worry about being charged. Um, and you'll get uh, multiple warnings uh, before the charge ever hits your credit card. So I think two or three different times we'll uh, send you information and notifications that the, the, to ask you how the trial is going and that the, uh, the charge might be coming up. So you don't have to worry about being charged. And if you do have any questions or comments along the way, or if you need help with installation anyway, you can always contact us at support at mt4professional.com. Our friendly staff will be there to help you out, to get you going to schedule one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, onboarding and so forth. Uh, speaking of onboarding, I want to show you some features of MT4 that I did not mention earlier. <clears throat> the, uh, this is my browser, and uh, you can see that I'm logged into the members area of the MT4 professional website. You can see from the, the very first page that you can download the software right away. Um, either for MT4 or MT5. This is the most recent version that we are running. Um, you can also see the six onboarding steps that we walk you through. Hold your hand to make sure that you get through each one of those and helps help you to do that. And if you need any um, help whatsoever, um, we can uh, <clears throat> give you a one-on-one -on -one, uh, to help get you uh, installed and going um, as well. Um, the real-time scanner is accessible through the link at the top. Just select the platform that you have the MT4 Professional running on, and it automatically produces or recreates the scanner window um, that you have running. So let me get my platform back up here. Let me get my browser back over here and show you that the current scanner window that I have <clears throat> set up here is exactly what I've got running here. I have uh, the OCN on a 5, 15, and 30 minute time frame. Next, I'm gonna say, uh, say that I'm out at lunch somewhere and I have this on my mobile device, my laptop or my desktop um, or my phone. And I wanted to see the setup on the Aussie US dollar. So I simply on my mobile device, click on the Aussie US dollar. It's gonna automatically through the cloud, change the symbol on my platform back in my office. Give me a snapshot and send it to me right now to see this looks like a really nice potential trade setup. And I'm 
ready to take advantage of that. Now, the Hawkeye software that I showed you earlier is not included um, in your subscription. The strategy here is this was an example uh, showing you that, but we have affiliations with Hawkeye uh, and we have specials to help you get going with Hawkeye if you are interested in, this, in that software and integrating that software with our uh, phenomenal scanner. And I, I have quite a few uh, configurations that I can share with you if you are interested in getting started with Hawkeye also. So there's a $97 special that allows you to get going and get started with Hawkeye. If you are interested in that, let us know. Uh, and uh, Claudio gave a link to, uh, <clears throat> to uh, Hawkeye to see if you uh, might be interested in that. But let me show you how I can share all of my scan and trace configurations with you. Um, if you go into the configuration button right here, notice when you edit any of the scanners that in the bottom right hand corner is a share icon. This share icon allows you to share any of these configurations through the cloud with any other trader out there. So by simply typing in the letters of any person's name that's out there, then you can um, select that person and share with them the scanner or the configurations that you just created. That's an, a, a valuable tool, the Traders Network, because it helps everybody to be on the same page at the same time and duplication of effort is minimized. So everybody can be using the same thing. Or maybe you have a, <clears throat> a chat room that you're running and you have a bunch of uh, trade setups that you've configured. And anybody who joins your chat room, you can share with them uh, your configuration and get them up to speed at the right time. So any of your students that you're teaching um, can be automatically entered and um, put up to speed using the share configuration button. All right, and uh, and of course, yes, um, the software, any software that you have on your platform can be used with the scanner, so you don't have to worry about that uh, being an issue. Are there any questions? Awesome. Well, don't forget that uh, your subscription does include uh, full documentation. So in the members area, you go to uh, MT4 Professionals main website, click the sign in to log into the, your members area here. Um, if you go over to the um, home button, which is where you log in, then you can see the documentation center is just one click away. All right. It'll log you into the solutions or our knowledge base. And from here, you have access to all of our quick start videos, to the information on, on installing or upgrading your software, even on how to set up and use your configurators for not only the charts, but for the scanners and for the um, symbols. It also gives you very helpful information on all of your member area and your billing, um, your subscription plan, payment methods, if you need to change or cancel your subscription anytime. It's all listed right here. Very easy to get to. Again, to get started on your trial today, uh, use the link mt4professional.com slash trial. 14 days, $97 after the 14 days is over. And if you have any questions at all for support, let us know. Support at mt4professional.com. And we'll be glad to get you up and running. So thank you very much for joining us today. It's been my pleasure to be your host. We'll be here in exactly two weeks from today. So let us know um, if there are any um, thing that we can do for you in the meantime. So thank you for your time. 
And I hope to see you again the same time in about two weeks. Unless there are any other questions, because I have about four more minutes left. If you do have any questions. No questions? That's fine. Enjoy the rest of your holiday, if you have one. I certainly am. So thank you. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you the same time in two weeks. Bye for now.